Hello everyone and welcome back. A few more snow showers setting to move in here in the FM area during the four o'clock hour and not everyone was too thrilled with these snow showers today. Check this out. This <laughs> peeking around the corner there. We have Monica the dairy goat and the caption here says, what is this? I hate it. And that's I feel like a lot of folks's uh, reaction to the snow showers today. Here's what it looks like right now here in Fargo. Some decreased visibility as these snow showers move in. You can see kind of some of these lower clouds almost look like streaks in the sky. That is snow showers uh, that is falling. Here's a recent DOT snapshot along US Highway 59 near Lancaster, Minnesota enough accumulation to coat the grassy ditches and in North Dakota Langdon got a little bit of snow in the grassy areas as well. Right now here in Fargo 36 feels like 24 definitely feeling uh, like a huge change from what we saw just a couple days ago when we were in the 70s and low 80s. Our wind gusting to 40 miles per hour sustained winds west northwest at 26 miles per hour. Grand Forks 33 wind gusting to 31 miles per hour out of the northwest bringing that wind chill down to 21 degrees. So temperatures today have struggled to warm out of the 30s. In fact, we're only right at 30 in Langdon and Howlock, 31 Thief River and Devil's Lake. The warmest spot, 38 in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Here's what it looks like on satellite and radar with these widely scattered snow showers. Maybe a brief break in the cloud cover in parts of northwestern Minnesota but most of us have been seeing a fairly gray day and we can blame it on this low pressure system up in Canada that's been moving over uh, to the north over the last couple of days. So we've seen a couple of days with some isolated snow showers, and even a little bit of isolated wintry mix. Winds right now gusting to 36 miles per hour in Jamestown, 35 in Sisseton, 37 in Aberdeen. Uh, but here in Fargo, we're seeing some of those strongest gusts again at 40 miles per hour and will remain quite gusty through the rest of this early evening. Winds tapering off late tonight, but still going to be a little bit breezy into Saturday. So here's what it looks like on and off snow showers for the next few hours after about 9 10 o'clock. Most of them starting to dissipate, still seeing a few flakes left over in northwestern Minnesota, but we start clearing from the northwest to the south and east, bringing us a sunny, clearer start to our Saturday. It is going to be chilly, though. Temperatures in the 20s. It remains breezy, less windy than today and yesterday and temperatures will be warmer. Expect most in the 40s to some in the low 50s. And aside from a few passing clouds, we're looking at a mostly sunny day. This afternoon, temperatures have been struggling. Tomorrow afternoon, looking like a different story, but the best part is more sunshine. Looking ahead to your temperature trend, we continue to hover around average for about the next 10, 11 days, a couple days dipping here and there, and that is because we have more chances for rain next week. So warm on Monday with a chance for some scattered showers, briefly cooler behind that on Tuesday, warmer, sunny Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into next Monday morning, we have on and off chances for rain. I was, I was thinking you're going to be a Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> just it was just going to keep on going. At going, this point, but it looks to dry yeah. up a little bit towards yeah. the middle of the week. Ha have the umbrella on standby. Yeah.